Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing Sonya Saga, a custom campaign for StarCraft II. We're on the final mission, which has an actual name, Povar's World. Let's get into it. Very dramatic music. We learned that Sonya has been taken to Povar's planet or world or what have you. Povar's world, apparently. Uh, but all of his friends have uh, made it out. This scares me. So let's see what... Uh, what this ending finale is going to be. I felt like the ending of, of Mission 4 was pretty neat. You're to survive the insanity of Povar's world. The result is fully up to you. Good luck. Have fun. Maybe this is going to be like a, an RPG-ish type map here. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought Mission 4 was a nice culmination of the, the first four missions. It was kind of like... Uh, I guess it was what I expected. In terms of how it's going to end, like, you had the option to save all your friends based on how it said, like, oh, well, whoever dies is just dead. So it was kind of neat to be able to, to get everyone out. Uh, someone had mentioned that maybe we could have attacked the artifact to save Sonya at the end of Mission 4. That actually was untargetable. Uh, it had a health bar, but it was invulnerable. Months before, I was a simple guy, but when the Dominion drafted me, everything changed. I engaged Protoss and Zerg in battle. Together with my friends, I passed through fire and ice. We've seen wonders beyond imagination. But then I betrayed them, and justice got me. Splat. And now I'm dissolving in the cold void. Time to embrace, embrace my death and accept it. Sonya. Damn, how could I forget? Povar. I hate this. This this is cursed. Oh my god. Oh, thank god that stops. I was like, is this gonna just last the whole time? A small pocket dimension located in the void and looking more like hell. Povar's world is the personal world of its creator, the insane Zelnaga. Time in it flows unpredictably. Six months can pass in the outside world in one second and vice versa. Here people who are somehow related to Povar go to after death. Sonya, like all his friends from the crazy squad, Sonya comes from Tirador 9, a completely ordinary person apart from the fact that he is actually the son of the insane Zelnaga Povar. His father mocked him, forcing him to swallow whole cucumbers charged with psionic energy, developing an addiction to them, along with a limited psionic power. His friends saved him from Povar in the past, first in the secret space station and then at Enceladus. As a result of psionic ma manipulations, for some time he existed in the form of a bull-like tauren, until he was killed after betraying his comrades. However, in the Povar's world, his body was recreated anew in the human form. Okay, he has no unit reactions. Thank God. So here we are. The nightmare begins. Oh, another one. Welcome. Wait, what the? You look very much like me. We all look alike here, but nobody knows where exactly we are. Alright, you say there are other people? They're a bit further, near the bonfire. Go to them. Okay. I guess I should be picking up anything we find, right? Our vision is in incredibly limited here. I see, we have another one. Yeah, guess you too don't know how you don't know how you got here. I think we should we shouldn't know at all. What we know is how to get out of here. What we should know is how to get out of here. Listen, man, we've got a problem. We're almost out of firewood and losing our only source of light is not acceptable. Help us. Go for the wood with another guy, and we will all be pleased. Find him near the exit. Okay. Boys gotta look to see if there are any other resources to pick up, you know? They could be anywhere. 
Why are there so many Sunyas? Also, why was one of them black? Like, are, are we supposed to all be essentially different versions of each other? They told me to help you with searching the wood. Searching for wood. Thank you. It'd be very scary to go alone. Scary? Why? Everything seems to be quiet. It only seems to be. Follow me, and don't step away. There were more of us. Four other guys have disappeared. They went out to gather some supplies and never returned. Yesterday I was scouting around the camp and found someone's head and arm torn along with a puddle of blood. I can't know exactly if that poor guy was the w was one of them, but still I'm very afraid about what could kill him, what could have killed him. Did you tell the others about that? I haven't told them yet. I'm lacking in spirit. I just wanted to... But they sent you. Now be quiet. Follow me and don't step away. Yeah, because of the vision, like, it, I think it actually is really important that we stay close to him, so... Fine. Here's some wood. I'll gather it and then we go back. Watch out from the bushes, please. I have a bad feeling. I have it, too. What? Someone's coming. What the heck? What are these beasts? I have to tell them about that. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! They were the ones the people... Ones who kill people in the area. I have to get out of here. These beasts are going to the camp. Poor guys. I'll not see them alive anymore. They're you! I should hide somewhere. Sonya, there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. My soapers will find you. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh shit, that thing blocked the way. Maybe it's like a meme I don't get, or it's just like a translation thing that didn't really come through properly. Well, at least those beasts can't follow me now. I hope so. We've taken damage. Hey, glad to see someone, some of our people. Survivor, are you from the group of people who went for supplies and never returned? Yes, come here. We should talk. Just be careful and don't lure the beasts here. Go further. The entrance is hidden behind the bushes. Coming. This is very spooky. I guess here? Yep. Hello. Strange that these beasts haven't found me yet, but I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Please, tell me how did you manage to survive? We were searching for supplies for a very long time, but found nothing. Then one of us spotted a tree with some fruit, looking like peaches from the outer world. He tried to take some of them, but suddenly a beast came from behind the tree. It just smashed the guy's head while making a strange sound like, Mmm, oh yeah. We all rushed away, but the beast chased us, and it was so damn fast. He shouted, Pick up this soap, and smash another of us. I was lucky to reach this place and hide. The last of us was torn apart. I saw his arm and head flying. So you're the only survivor. What should we do now? How can we escape from that hell? First of all, we have to find some food, otherwise we'd starve. The tree must be unguarded now. The beast is gone. Go. Let's grab some of these peaches and eat. Follow me. Okay. I'm just- I'm just right- I just right-clicked it, so we're- we're gonna stick close. Oh hell, this is the place where the beast tore my comrade apart. The body's gone. Hope we'll not engage that thing. Wait, what the hell? There wasn't debris here before. 
When I was wandering here, another one fell right behind me. Looks like it's normal here. Hey, that means we're trapped here. Alright, let's go. Fuck. Why does it always have to be like that? The tree's burnt. What now? Let's check out these bushes. This is our last hope if something grows on them. This is so this is so weird. We're lucky. There's someone stashed it in here. Good that we found it. Here's some dried meat. Let's eat and then decide what to do next. Agreed. Man, I'm so happy to have found some feast. You're right, bro. Wait a minute. There's something else in the stash. I haven't noticed that before. Oh my. These are the grenades. And C4 charges. Take the crate with explosives. The one with the food is mine. Let's bring them to my hiding spot. Okay, let's go. I'm just wondering who left all that stuff here. A few moments later. So we have five grenades and one C4 charge. As you said, there's no point in returning to our old camp. Those beasts surely destroyed it. That leaves us only one way, to destroy the debris blocking the way to the north. Good. I should remain here to protect your supply and craft some more explosives. If you find any resources, bring them to me. With them, I'll be able to make more grenades, med kits, and maybe auto turrets. I'm not much into engineering, but I know a little bit. Understood. I take, I'll take these grenades with me in case of fighting back. I also marked this camp on your map. If you lose your way, you'll know where to go. Thank you. By the way, what should I call you? Not Sonya. Not THE Sonya, I guess. Call me Jeff. I like that name. Oh, almost forgot. Take my knife with you. Maybe it'll save your life. Name is Jeff. To open a crafting menu, pick Jeff in the camp. A hundred minerals for a grenade. I can make two med kits. I can make auto turrets. Interesting. So yeah, it is. It's like an RPG survival type quest thing. Not having a mini... Well, I mean, we have a mini map, but, you know, it's not... I mean, it's kind of a mini map, but not really, you know? So we have some grenades, and I think I need to use the C4 charge on the actual debris. So the question is, like, should I be looking around for other things? Again, he was talking about, like, oh, if you find resources, bring them back here. So this is how we got here originally, I think. And it's blocked off now. Okay, well, that, I guess, was worth checking. Yeah, the, the total darkness replacement on the on the map is tough. Hopefully I didn't miss any other resources along the way. I guess let's quick save, because this could go wrong at any second, and we only have this knife, which is melee range only. Okay, so this is the tree. This is where we found the backpack. I assume that's blocked, yeah, okay. Okay, all we can do is plant the C4. What are you doing, you chump? Um, uh, who are you? It's for me to ask the questions. Why did you explode the debris? I was locked here with another guy. We had no other way. Don't worry, beasts won't pass here. There's another debris a bit further. Oh, okay. You asked me who I am. I'm just like you, but my comrades and I found some weaponry and formed something like a war unit. Oh, so there's weaponry in this world, and you're fighting the beasts back. 
Exactly. I think you too may be useful for us. Follow me. Okay, well, we'll follow you in a second, dude. We gotta look for resources, you know? Well, if we can find a weapon, I'm cool with that, and then we can go back and craft with that other guy. Another survivor? I'm surprised. There are only three of you? Soon we'll go to the rendezvous point with other squads. Two men went down right yesterday when the beasts attack. We burned all their corpses of our comrades. Sorry, I also lost my group. Do you guys know how to get out of here? We do. We discovered the beasts stand on the east of this area. If we destroy it, we'll be able to enter another unexplored territory. Cool, let's go then. What are we waiting for? We must wait for the other group first. We won't go anywhere without them. Alright then, hope it won't take much time. You can pick that crate with minerals if you need it. Thanks. Yes! Okay. Here we are, men. Let's rendezvous with the old outpost. Let's go. Okay. Maybe I should go back and craft stuff? There have been no enemies so far. Good. Everybody's here. We've got a newbie with us. He wants to help. We could always use, use an extra pair of hands. You're welcome. Oh, you even got a vehicle. Really? How? I don't remember it. We found it not far from here, on an abandoned post. I have no idea how it got there. We were just lucky. The only thing is that we're almost out of missiles. In addition, the engine's damaged, and I have to drive slowly. We're not in the best of shape, but at least we have some resources. If anyone needs it, take it. I'll take. Let me know when you're ready, then we go to raid. Save. So let's look around a little bit before we do anything. Cool, I'll take that. Better than spending med kits, I suppose. So we've got, I mean, again, we've got the grenades. That's going to open up inevitably. I guess we should go back and spend these resources. Let's just look around for a, a brief period of time first. We came through here. Let's look up here. Again, not having the mini-map to kind of keep track of where you've been is, is rough. Cucumbers. I don't know what they're doing here, but this is exactly what I need right now. Increases your movement speed by 25%, but you can't use... Oh. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Handy little quality of life there. This is really interesting. Like, obviously, there's still, like, bits and pieces of memes in here, which is fine. But, like, this is really clever, so far at least. Let's go and maybe make an auto turret and then some med packs. Or just extra grenades. I feel like extra grenades certainly couldn't hurt. And then we'll just save before we trigger anything. We'll save before we trigger anything to ensure that we uh, can always come back here to craft something different if necessary. So let's do this. I can make two med kits or I can make more grenades. Let's just make med kits so that we've got them. If we can avoid using them, you know, that would be preferable. Okay, now we're going to come back up here. I don't know if, like, this is the extent of the map, or there are, like, multiple pieces to it, and I imagine there's going to be more, so... We'll see how this expands as we move forward. Okay, we've got our grenades, we have an auto turret. Okay, let's do it. We did save. Are you ready? Sure. Let's go, people. Time to drive beasts out. Got a target in mind. Give them hell, guys. 
Protect me until we replenish the ammunition of that thing. Has everybody heard that? Cover the cyclone. Beast. Oh, turn, turn off, yeah. Turn off run. Let them attack the troopers in the front and then we'll hit them with the knife. Oh, I think our max health increased because of the cucumbers. Looking for resources while they're doing their thing. We can always come back here later. I'm loading the missiles in. Hold on. Oh, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, they, they, they heal. Somebody's healing. Oh, it's because they have like a stim pack of some sort. Can I wait for them to move towards the the front trooper and then I and then I move in and damage him with the knife? I shouldn't have quick saved there, but oh well, we'll figure it out. Trooper standing by. The ammunition's full, let's rock this place. Kind of the side here. Okay, this is the direction we would have gone anyway, so this is fine. This is so strange. <laughs> so the cyclone is really contributing a lot here. It's, it's the situations where we have to cover the cyclone is where things get kind of dicey. Wish I had a, you know, a gun would be really nice. Good. Oh gosh, we're getting split up really bad here. I'm gonna have to sacrifice some of these guys in the back. Acquiring target. Let's get rid of that flop house. That's it. Say goodbye to my big friend. I hope these beasts shall never return here. We've taught them a lesson. We're advancing to the next area. You, remain here and look for survivors. Here, there are two medkits for you. Use them wisely. Okay, well, we used two medkits, so we got, and then we got two more. Some time later. It's already night, and they're still missing. And I haven't found any survivors. To say that this place is freaking me out is to say nothing. I think I should follow those guys on their way. Or maybe find Jeff and have a little rest first? Okay, so I think we're going to want to go back. Go back and craft some stuff. I assume this is the way they went, so let's not do that. Take me back, please. Yeah, the map changes when we cross over there. So I think this map might end up being quite, quite large. We'll see. So we used most of our grenades. We didn't use our auto turret, so that's good because that was the most expensive thing that we had. So maybe we can just make some more of those. Let's look around here to see if there's any other health or, you know, really anything. I just want to make sure that Jeff will, uh... Maybe he'll move his camp up somewhere. That would be nice. Okay, 
let's we can turn run on now. Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. So that's a good amount of resources. So I could I could make two auto turrets at this point. We actually have more gas than we need in terms of minerals. So maybe I'll just get multiple med kits or just, I don't know, more grenades. I don't think the grenades that I used in that general fight were really worthwhile at all. So what I'm leaning towards doing is buying one more auto turret and then multiple grenades. Well, it would be three grenades. And then we've got the two health packs, which are, you know, I guess acceptable. Where is he? No crates and no signs of the camp. Oh no. He left this place and took all the supplies. Where the hell should I search for him? Wow, what a dick. He probably- he must have moved forward, is my guess. We could backtrack though and see if he's down here, like where we found the supplies in the first place. Yeah, it's still blocked. I think- I think we have to move forward, and I'm just gonna guess that he- he, like, moved where the camp is. Which could be a good thing. Okay, we might as well check everywhere just in case, because, like, there's a chance he is over here somewhere now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess let's move on. By the way, I get the meme now, but it's, you know. <laughs> sure. Of the one I was talking about earlier with the sopers. I get it. It's just, you know. An unfortunate real life topic. So let's um let's see how big the map is when we change it. Like when we shift it over here. It was down here, wasn't it? Yes. Is this him? This might just be him. A few hours ago, we drove into a hollow and got stuck. Bloody hell. Shit, I'm out of the missiles. We were attacked by beasts, and the guys ran away in panic. I managed to hide, and all of them were hunted down. But that's not the point. I noticed a new kind of beast. Its skin is green, and that thing moves faster than normal. It's fortunate that there are bushes here that, where I can watch for the local inhabitants. However, it seems that they will find me soon. I have no weapons, and the cyclone can neither move nor shoot. A little more time passed, and I saw that the creature could jump. I need to get out of here. I guess the- I guess this is the Cyclone's pilot. This place is freaking me out, but I have to go further. There's no other way. The swamp? I think my feet are gonna get wet. Ah, shit. Alright, let's make it quick. Let me just check again, because there's no fog of war. Let's quick save here. I think I used too many resources on that first engagement. I probably could have gotten away with using nothing. But, uh, you know, I didn't know that, so. Oh, gosh! They weren't kidding. Here it is, the stuck cyclone. I think the pilot shouldn't have left it. I think he leashed. Now I have no idea what I passed up while running from that thing. Well, I was gonna say, and I know he's here, what am I doing? I mean, I'm faster than him. As long as we keep moving, it's fine. I could also maybe kill him with my auto turret. 300. Swamp beast. Okay. As long as they don't jump on you. I guess let's just keep going. We can't go up either. It would take two grenades to kill them, which I don't have, and I lost my ability to craft things. So that's fun. The 
cave. Looks like it's the only way from the swamp. As I have no choice, let's go in. I was just wondering if you'd come here. What's this bullshit? I had no idea where you went with all our supplies. Sorry, I wanted to leave a note, but wasn't able to. I followed your path and then found another one. I've decided to wait for you here. It's too creepy to go deeper alone. Whew, I thought you abandoned me. I'm really sorry, bro. Next time I'll try to think better. I guess you haven't met any survivors. I joined some armed allies, but they're all dead now. Our survival is fully up to us again. That's bad, but I brought here all our supplies. This cave is much better for the camp than our old hiding spot. I see you've even got a turret. Is it against the beasts? Surely not against you, bro. There's a downhill behind me. I haven't checked what's on that way. Another passage is right there, but it's blocked. If you have some resources, I can make a C4 charge for that and get rid of the debris. But I doubt that we're alone in that cave. If you engage the beasts, try not to lure them to the camp. The turret might not be enough. I'll try. By the way, I had some practice with crafting. I think I can make something special for you. Is it a gun? Phase armor. Shield you for 100 damage. After this amount of damage is blocked, armor must recharge. While Sunya's armor is active, he heals for 30% damage dealt from melee attacks. Okay, well, we obviously we're going to make that. Jeff. One of the many Sunyas inhabiting Povar's world. However, many, in order to not call each other Sunya, take other names for themselves. So this is Jeff. Unlike many of his kind, he's bold, resourceful. In addition to this, a jack of all trades. You can't find a better ally in Povar's world. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build the C4 charge. And then let's just make some med kits. Perfect. So now we can auto attack stuff. Um, we just need to um, use the phase armor, right? So he said there is debris over here. Let's actually, let's maybe look up here first. What? Okay, I don't think we're, I, I think it's basically saying like you can't go that way yet, is my, is my thought. I can't be sure, but that's what I think. I think maybe we're also supposed to go back into the swamp. If we needed resources, we could go back out there. Or maybe we can't. Can we? I don't think we can go. I guess we can't go back. It seems like it. I wish there was a cooldown for, for like, when our armor could activate again. I guess there was nowhere to spend your resources, so there's, like, basically no way you couldn't have them. Couldn't not have them, I should say. Let's go up. It does mark on our map where the resources are, even though it's total darkness. If you, like, even mildly reveal where they might be, you can kind of see where they are. Just wanted to check. Okay, I see the cooldown now. I mean, Sonya, time to suck some dick. Does it just end? Oh, it kicks you back to the mission launcher. What is happening? Okay, well, I guess we'll load this back up. And, uh, I don't know when the last time I saved was, so we'll just, um... I'll just make a cut till I get there. Let's see where we were first. I don't think we were that far in. So it seems like they're just random areas where, like, the screen will shake and you're slow. 
Oh, no, we weren't far at all. I had just saved. Okay, well, let's wait for phase armor. I'm reluctant to try to kill anything, honestly. Okay, so our phase armor's up. Let's go and maybe go and attack that other one. I don't really need to use any of my abilities if my phase armor is up. So let's get over here and maybe kill this one. Oh, gosh. I think it's basically saying, like, there's just certain areas you can't go to. Like, if you go too far to the left or something, then I guess you just get roasted. I'm really not sure. It's a little vague. But, like, I want those resources. I'd like to go and craft some more grenades. So, of course, you know, that's what I'm going to do. The only other way is down here, right? I know the guy said, like, don't lure them back to the camp. But, like, I'm sure the turret can kill one of these things, right? That's right, asshole. Okay, because my shield is up, we can grab these. What about da- what if I went down? It's very particular with, like, where you're allowed to go. I'm gonna go back and make some grenades. Up there were just resources, unless there were, like, we could continue going that way, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't think there was any... You know what? Let me save and just run in here again. I know there were enemies, but I wanted to see if there was, like, a different path to take. No. Okay. Let me just reload so that I don't have to waste my... resources. Again, the only thing is, like, I wish there was some indicator on the ground of, like, if you cross this threshold, you'll start taking crazy amounts of damage, you know? I feel like that's kind of... Not unfair, but kind of silly, right? So it seems like this guy will be able to craft more stuff for us over time, so we should start saving our resources where possible. I, it seems more efficient to just try to run by the enemies more than anything else. Oh, I see. There's, like, these black clouds. They're just kind of hard to see. There is a visual indicator for them. There's one there. Okay, well, I kicked off my shield. Ooh. Oh, these unlikely guys probably got themselves blocked here. Sword. Give me that. Wow, a sword. Very unusual. Owner identification in process. What? Who's there? Human, what have you done to my master? I see you for the first time. I don't even know who your master is. My name is Sonya. I'm just trying to find an exit from this world. It seems you are not the reason of his death. My name is Absurdex. I am an ancient sentinel artifact created long before humanity. What you see is only my hologram. I can project it near the sword you just took. Oh my. Sorry, but I don't know what killed your previous master. What are you going to do? The artifact of my kind goes dormant without the master. But if you are worthy to own me, I will serve you with what I can. 
I can be used either as a sword or as an armored suit, but for the second one, you must be very resilient. Otherwise, you may face ter terrible consequences. I see. I want to try this suit on, but how should I do that? Not recommended. In the best case, you'll lose consciousness. In the worst, you'll die. I still want to try. Please, tell me how. You humans are truly incorrigible. You must rise the sword and cry out my name loudly. Try that if you dare. Alright, let's do this. Absodex! <laughs> well, he warned us. Activation has failed, but you managed to survive. That means you're worthy enough. The time shall come when you'll be able to use me at full power. Then you will realize how useful I may be. Ah, that hurts. An hour later. Oh, hell. I'll try it again another time. Maybe. That thing can really kill me. So we have a sword now, which is extremely useful. The question is, like, what do we do with it? I assume maybe we need, like, the suit to go through the clouds? Why, did I, why would I just walk through it? Why would I do that? So, yeah, I guess now I can, like, actually kill enemies, but there was nowhere else to go. So here we just have to avoid the cloud, right? Now that I actually know what I'm looking for to see those things, I can try going different ways. Okay, phase armor's up. Let's quick save and... Need more C4. Need more C4. Oh, bye. Stop doing that, Jay Barino. Stop walking into it. So that's two C4s necessary. Shit, water again. My boots are all wet. Those are, again, they're very hard to see. Three C4s. Looks like an abandoned mine. Human bodies. Probably killed by that strange black thing. But what's that? They're not Sonya's. But still, I think I remember them somehow. So there are normal people in this world, too. Not only my copies. Interesting. What a sweet scent of fear. What? Don't move, otherwise you may lose a limb or two. Oh, you're the Dark Templar. Do not compare me with those Nerezim mongrels. I am the Taldrian Bloodhunter, the Blade of the High Lord. Zigatul is my name. Sonya is mine. And what is the Taldrim doing in this world? I got there accidentally. I was wandering and exploring this void dimension until my master, Povar, discovered my existence. Now I have to hide because he may see me even under cloak, and I can't deal with him alone. You've come a very long way and have many questions, but first you should thank me that I didn't cut your throat on sight. Oh. How generous. I'm just as much of an occasional visitor here as you are. Spent here almost a day, but still don't understand anything. What am I doing here? I must be dead. I don't know what brought you here, but I will tell you about this place. This is Povar's world. It is in the void, and the souls of all those who died because of him fall here. 
He destroys Protoss on sight. I don't know why he hates us so much. As for Terrans, he contains them as slaves. And where do those who look like me come from? Povar himself created them. Apparently he has such entertainment, letting them out into the outskirts and watching them try to survive among the beasts. The pain, fear, and horror that the victims feel. I almost admire this mad person. Now listen carefully. I feel the same strength as you, in you as in the Povar. Once you get here, then you can go further. Your task is to free the slaves and make them rebel against the Povar. When the time comes, I will join you and eliminate him. The operational part of the mine is behind the debris. Beware of the guards. They are armed and heavily armored. Get to the surface, and then you will know the way yourself. Do not disappoint me, Terran. Alright, at least I have more chances for success with his aid rather than without him. So this is like... Multi-part adventure series, basically. Really interesting. Again, so now we know there are three sets of rocks. So let's go and buy three sets of C4 charges, if we have enough money for it. I just realized the black clouds also show up on the minimap as, as the blue blue team. What? A tauren? Get back to work, maggot. We require more minerals. Fuck you, bullshit. If you will not serve in mine, then you will serve on the firing line. So this is the operational mine. I have to somehow pass through it and avoid the tauren. Okay, well, again, I'm going to backtrack now, and I'm going to try to get through all the debris. I think, weren't, weren't the um, the charges, they were more minerals than, uh, than gas, right? So, I don't know if I'll be able to kill the Tauren or not. And I can't just right-click back to the base, because, again, those black clouds are everywhere and will kill me if I'm not careful. Having the sword is helpful. Maybe I can kill the, the Tauren. Uh, okay. Well, that's only two, so let's go and break some of the other debris and hopefully get make more resources back than what we spent. Then we can build the last one, etc., etc. Actually, no, those debris, um, the, the third set of debris um, broke automatically because that's where we needed to go to continue through the, the map. Dude, I am not scared. I am a little scared. <laughs> okay. I think that was just a no-point trap. It's alright, we have to eat those losses, I suppose. Yeah. So we did get... We did get a, a few of our resources back. I think I had to destroy those? No, I didn't have to destroy... I thought, like, did I have to destroy them to come up? Yeah, through here. It was this set. It's too bad, but that's all right. Again, we burned more than we got for it, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's go back this way and see. Oh my gosh! So the shield absorbs only a certain amount of damage, basically, from what I can tell. Stick to the bottom. Now this is open. God, is this a stealth section? Oh, God. Ugh. 
Well, they know to follow me in here. Well, and I'm stuck. I'm just making a run for it to see what we can get. I think they leashed. Okay. Well, as long as we're not limping, I would prefer that. This is a very challenging stealth section because I have no way to see where they could possibly be before it's too late. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Guess let's wait. I know they reset eventually, and we can hide in the in the bushes here. I just I have no idea what I'm doing here. Holy shit! We have to free all the Sunyas. Run, just just run. We've got the phase shielding. I think we just have to run. There's probably more resources to get in this section, but I really can't afford to look. Finally, this is the exit. Oh, gosh. Fine. Ha! A good hunter has a lucky hint. Hit. We were ordered to guide you a bit. And what if I refuse? Don't even try. You're going with us. Such is the will of Povar. Crap. Seems like the game's over. There's probably so much more in that mine, but I just... <laughs> Where am I? There can be only one victor. Ka, you're in the arena. I want you to fight one of my favorite creatures. He's so eager to meet you. Unfortunately for you... He is a gay sadist. The one who will survive the fight will be free for a while, and if you lose, you will lick his boots. Or maybe something else. Hilarious. You mad freak. Let's get out of here. How can we fight without weapons? Return to me my phase armor at least. Yeah, I paid good money for that. The less equipment fighters have, the more interesting it is to watch. Here he comes. I alone have been anointed to spread my penis for you, for I love you. Embrace my long, holy penis. Weird. Where's, where am I? Holy penis. Rise up, penis. Rise, holy penis. Rise up. Uh, let's collect the resources. Rise, holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. Rise, holy So do beaver. I just need to, like, survive Rise for Oh, I see. No, beaver. those are med kits. That's not what I give a shit about. Rise, holy beaver. Rise it's not particularly hard to beaver. avoid him. Am I supposed to maybe draw him Rise into... Yeah, I need to draw him into the tentacles. Beaver. Seems pretty obvious Rise to me. Rise up, beaver. Rise, You're still alive? Beaver. Time to bring some heat. Rise up, beaver. My beams will patrol the arena. Rise, Are you sweating? Beaver. Don't even dare slow down. Rise up, He's vulnerable beaver. to the beams. I may use it if Rise, they weren't turned me to ash. These other, uh, other Sunyas are, are Rise, getting in my way. Holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. Rise, holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. This is pretty fucking stupid Rise, if you ask me. Holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. Rise, holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. It's relatively easy for me to avoid Rise, these even though I'm waiting for my holy health to beaver. regen. Rise up, beaver. Rise, holy beaver. Rise up, beaver. Rise, holy 
beam. I just wanted to go through. Yeah, the, the beams kind of move erratically, so I'm, I'm like trying to see like where are they going so that I can actually get them to go through them. Rise up, beam. Rise, holy beam. Oh my god. Is there like a cheat I can use to make this go faster? Because this is so irritating. All right, I'm actually gonna stop here because uh, this is really stupid. I guess we'll come back and this is how we'll start the next video. Bye bye.